How are you feeling? Yes. So welcome. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here with you. This is the first strike undertaken by medical professionals in this country for 40 years. How does it feel? Well, yeah, it feels good, but it feels disappointing as well. Do you not feel? Yeah. I think doctors have done their very best to avoid this action, to be entirely fair to you. And it's sad to, uh, well, as I was driving here in the morning, it's very sad to hear the negative spin that's already being put on the action. Mm. David Cameron is saying that what you're doing is unsafe for doctors, un unsafe for patients. Mm. How do you feel about that? Mm. Yeah, I think it's an outrage. It's an absolute outrage. You are, it's a pleasure and honour to be here with you. I know that I work with you every day of the week. I work with many doctors of all walks of life, of all professions, of all different specialities. And each one of you spends your entire career, all of your days, organised around caring for patients. And that's the result. There's overwhelming support. I saw someone trying to walk around uh, a, a media pundit, trying to get some... Uh, negative comments on the strike. There wasn't a single person they could find who wasn't supportive of your action. And that's because they appreciate what you do. And I'm sure some of you have been to countries where there isn't a national health service yeah. and you've seen the implications there are for the care of people when it's not possible for them just to walk into a and &E and you give them the best possible health care regardless of how much they have, regardless of what they do they have a problem you're able to treat it it's a honor and a privilege to be a part of that and i'm sure that's why you're all here i know it is misrepresentation to say that the NHS is not already 24 hour. I personally have worked and I've seen many of you here as well the entire weekend. So I worked a 48 hour weekend and yesterday I worked another 12 hours operating. It's no longer illegal, it, well it's illegal to pay me for that work. It's not illegal to do the work. The result of our pay uh, implications over the last 10 years have been that while they've introduced EWTD, we've not been able to pay us for the work that we do, but we carry on, all of us working over and above our hours to provide excellent care. What they're proposing to do is give a massive further pay cut. It's quite clear from everything they've published that there'll be about one third pay cut in every junior doctor's salary. Living conditions, living expenses are not going down in London. Already many people struggle to buy houses, and what they've done with the nurses Stopping their bursary, stop trying trying to stop the bursary of the nurses and the midwives is absolutely outrageous. These people absolutely live on the edge of what is viable to, to actually live in a city like London and provide work 24 hours care for the, care for their family. So the junior doctors must be seen uh, that what we're doing is in support of our colleagues, in support of the NHS, and in support therefore of the long-term health of the general uh, public of, of Britain. So. Well done for coming and uh, keep it up. Save our NHS, guys. Save our NHS. Save our NHS.